All right. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to uh, Back to Molly's Face. Um, I'm here on, this is Thursday morning now, I'm just getting ready for work. Well, I've just finished getting ready, but I filmed it for you, um, and I thought I'd show you. It's a quick, it's going to be a, qu a quick vid, because um, at half seven, no, not about the half an hour, get ready, make up hair, ten minutes, that is it. So I will show you in the video. What I do is very simple, nothing too extravagant. I literally sit in an office all day, so I have no one to impress. So no, thank you. I'm not going to be doing big old makeup like that. Um, yeah, really simple. I've tried a new style. I've gone with the old voiceover. So we'll see. Uh, let me know what you think. And yeah. Right, we're straight into it. We're starting off with moisturiser, of course. Um, this is just going to be the Superdrug um, night cream. I love to use this in the morning because it's really, it's quite thick and I really like that. I wake up with quite dry skin normally. Then we're just going to have some SPF. This one's from Superdrug, um, 50, um, SPF 50 because we love that. Skin protection. Then next I'm going to faff around for ages trying to think of what foundation and I'll choose the Maybelline Superstay foundation in number 10 ivory. I'll just whack this all over the face and then um, blend it out with a Real Techniques buffing brush. I like this for the everyday, it's very simple, it's quite lightweight but it does have um, a good staying power so my skin looks good for the whole day. And I'll just blend that forever it seems until that's all blend it and nice and then we're going to go sort of bougie for me with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer this is in oh, 2.8 mound glass um, it's really nice got yellow undertone which I love for my skin I just think it makes everything look really glowy I don't usually um, give a mega highlight under the eye for the everyday um, just because there's no point in my opinion um, and then I just blend that out with the buff and brush again and then to set, I'm just taking the Revolution Press Powder in P1, which is just translucent, I think. Just using a big brush, um, this one's from Amazon, um, put it all over the face, even the under eyes, just give everything a nice coat in so we're looking good and nothing will move. Then I'm going to do eyebrows and in my ratty old um, Maybelline Brow Mascara. Um, I just run this through the brows to give them a little bit of colour and a bit of shape and make sure they're sticking up on edge, looking bushy as hell. Right, next we're going in with the holy, holy grail of mascaras in my opinion. I stopped using this for a few um, months because I was trying a few other mascaras but honestly I will always go back to this, it's the Maybelline uh, Lash Sensational Mascara and I just cannot even recommend it enough, like my lashes go from short little stubby things to looking like they've actually got some life and honestly I'm here for it, living for it, wanting it to happen all the time. So everyone go to Boots, pick yourself up one of them. Right, next up we have got bronzer, um, I'm just using the MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish Powder, whatever the hell it's called, um, and a big fluffy brush from EcoTools, and mm, bronzer is my favourite product, so what we're going to do is we're just going to absolutely coat ourselves in it everywhere you can think of. Cheeks, chin, nose, forehead, everywhere, put it, we want to be so tan. One second sing break coming up now. So I'm just going to give a hint of blush up. This is by Benefit Rocketeur. That's the little travel size which I've had forever. Um, and a little brush. Then we've got Nude Lippy. This is the Maybelline Matte Lipstick in Nude Embrace. My absolute everyday go-to. It's such a lovely nude colour. Not too pink, not too, not too brown. It is a beaut. And then a bit of setting spray, that is the Mario Badescu um, Rose Water and Aloe Vera spray, I think. It is absolutely my favourite spray, using it all the time to keep my face hydrated. And now we're going 
gonna do my hair. As you can see, I uh, don't brush it. So that's my really downfall of trying to be a beauty YouTuber. I cannot do hair for my fucking life. Um, so literally just taking it out of the bun and giving it a zhuzh, sorting my parting out. And honestly, that is it. Making it look not so weird. Ignore all my roots, cause they're a mess. Right, here's me having a little dance. Just wanna say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this little um, tutorial. Easy, easy makeup. <laughs> oh, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, all of that mumbo gumbo because your girl wants to grow. Okay? Okay. Thank you.